Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be telling facts about each country. Let's go. Next, we, all right, we're going to go from alphabetical order. First, we have Afghanistan, which has 16 flags in entire history. Albania, which has 173,000 bunkers, also. If I'm going too fast, you could slow down the video. Next, we have Algeria, which is the biggest country out of all of Africa. It's, it's. Next, we have Andorra, which doesn't speak French, doesn't speak Spanish, it speaks Catalan. Next, we have Angola, which has one of the youngest populations in the world. Next, we have Antigua and Barbuda, which which is independent, but still British in many of the traditions. And also, please like and subscribe, because it took a long time to make this video. That's why I didn't upload it in a month. Next we have Argentina. And it's the best team in of all of FIFA. Next we have Armenia, which has a dormant volcano between the Armenian and Turkish border. Next we have Australia, which has more kangaroos than people. Next we have Austria, which invented Red Bull. Azerbaijan, which national dish, dish is pancakes. Next we have Bahrain. And it's why you still look like that. Next we have Bangladesh, which is 115 times smaller than Russia. And it still has a bigger population. Next we have the Bahamas, which has 700 islands. Barbados, which used to be called Los Barbados. Next we have Belarus, which is the smartest country out of all of Europe. Next we have Belgium, which invented French fries. But the reason why it's called French, French fries is because it speaks mostly French. Next up, Belize, which is the only country to have humans on their flag. Next up, Benin, which is the first African country to have, to have democracy. Next up, Bhutan, which has no traffic lights. Next up, Bolivia, which is a land, which is a landlocked country, but still has a navel. Next, we have Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina is right here on the map. And it has the second shortest coastline in the entire world. Next we have Botswana. And it looks like this. It's beautiful, beautiful, very beautiful. Uh, one more there. Next we have Brunei, which, was, which has the, one of, which is the most percentage of Islam in all of Southeast Asia. Next we have Brazil, which won the most World Cups. Bulgaria, which is actually never colonized. Actually, it was. Next we have Burkina Faso, which is known for the land of honest men. KB Bird, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen islands. Next we have Cambodia, which has is the only the the only flag to have a building on it. Next we have Cameroon, which speaks French and English. Next we have Canada, imagine is which is the nicest country. Next is the Central African Republic. And if you abbreviate that, that's CAR. Next we have Chad, which is named after the Lake Chad. Next we have Chile, which stretches from Norway to Algeria. Again, if you watch my first video, never estimate Chile. Underestimate Chile. Next we have China, which had a history. It used to look like this, then this, then this, then this, then this. Next we have Colombia, which made in Campo. Next we have Comoros, which is made of four volcanic islands. Next we have Republic of Congo, which was which was called Congo Brazzaville. Brazzaville. Next we have Costa Rica. This may seem false, but it's actually which is actually true. And that is Costa Rica had no military. Next we have Croatia, which which which, which is one of the first countries to break away from Yugoslavia. Next we have Cuba. Cuba's capital is Havana, but it's still not the oldest. Next we have Cyprus. This is Cyprus without territories. Cyprus with territories. Czech, Czechia has one of the... Next we have Czechia, which, aka Czech Republic, which is one of, which has one of the biggest castles in the world. Next we have DRC, which is colonized by Belgium. Very surprising. 
Next we have Denmark, which is invented Legos. Next we have Dabuji, which has many bases of major countries like France, China, and, U and the United States. Next we have Dominica, which has the most purple and it's black. Next we have... Now you might be thinking that Haiti gained independence from the Dominican Republic, but it's the other way around. It's the it's Dominican Republic who gained independence from Haiti. Next we have Ecuador, which has 6 a.m. sunrise, 6 p.m. sunset. Next we have Egypt, which is the oldest country, born in 3100 3, BCE. Next we have El Salvador, which is the oldest Central American country. Next we have Equatorial Guinea, which is the only African country colonized by Spain. Next we have Eritrea, which was colonized by Ethiopia. And next we have Estonia, which was colon which is smaller than Latvia and Lithuania. Next we have Iswani, aka known as Swaziland. Next we have Ethiopia, and in Ethiopia it's 2015. Next up, Fiji, which actually speaks Hindu. Yeah. Next up, Finland, which is the happiest country in in the world, not Europe, in the world. Next we have France, which is the most visited country. Next we have Gabon, which is, which is a Portuguese name. Next we have the Gambia, which been independent since February 18, 1965. Next we have Georgia, and there's also a U.S. state named Georgia. Next we have Germany, which is split up of East Germany and West Germany. Next we have Ghana flag now, and Ghana flag then. Ghana flag then used to look like the flag of Hungary, but with the foot, with the foot, with the star. Next we have Greece, which didn't let North Macedonia in NATO. Next we have Grenada, which which was colonized by. Great Britain, but then in the American Independence War, it was French. Next we have Guatemala, which is known for the, la for the land of many trees. Next we have Guinea, which was named after the Guinea region. Next we have Guinea Passau, which, which, which has, and this is its water, it, very good. Next we have Guyana, which, this is its growth, growth, population growth from 1961 to 2003. Next we have Haiti, which is summer all year round. Next we have Honduras flag before 2022 and after. Next we have Hunger Hungary, which is which is one of the oldest countries in Europe. Next we have Iceland, which has no mosquitoes. And next we have India, which has the most population. Next we have Indonesia, which has the most Muslims. Next we have Iran, which is the 17th largest population and the 17th biggest. Next we have Iraq, and it has a 3,400-year-old city. Next, we have Ireland, which was colonized by UK. Next, we have next we have Italy, which we had which had the best food. Next, we have Jamaica, which was colonized in 1494. Next, we have Japan, which has a city named Tokyo, and Tokyo has a bigger population than Australia. Next, we have Jordan, which is home to the lowest point in the world, the Dead Sea. Next, we have Kazakhstan, which is allied with Russia and USA. Next, we have Kenya, and it has a lot of wildlife. Next, we have Kiribati, and Kiribati, in my opinion, I have the best flag in all of Oceania. Next, we have Kosovo, which is the youngest country in Europe. Next, we have Kuwait, which has, which is rich. Next, we have Kyrgyzstan, which, which has the one of the least crowded countries. Next, we have Laos, which has seven, seven point twenty-three million people. Next, we have Latvia, which has three languages: Latvian, Livonian, and Lagalian. Next, we have Lebanon, which is the fifth smallest country in Asia, not largest. So I should have corrected that before. Next, we have Lesotho, which is an enclave of South Africa, and it also wasn't colonized by South Africa ever. Next, we have Liberia, which speaks English. Next, we have Libya's flag then, Libya's flag now. Just look at Libya's flag then, all
Next we have Liechtenstein, which is a double, which is a double landlocked country. Next we have Lithuania, which and the Lithuanian language is one of the oldest. Next we have Lux Luxembourg's capital is Luxembourg. Next we have Madagascar, which is so close to 30 million, pe million people. Next we have Malawi, which and you can go on safari, but patience is required. Next we have Malaysia, which was colonized by Indonesia. UK and Japan. Next we have Maldives, which has a hundred, which is a hundred percent Islam. Next we have Mali, which is home to the richest man in history. Next we have Malta, which is one of the smallest countries in Europe, but still in the EU. Next we have uh, the Marshall Islands, independent since 1986. Next we have Mauritius, which is one of the beautiful flat in the world. Next we have Mexican Empire, which is the only empire to break away from the Spanish Empire. Now I know there was such thing as Grand Colombia, but I mean it wasn't actually like an empire. I mean it didn't have empire in its name or yeah, so yeah. Next we have the Solomon Islands, which have a GDP of four hundred and sixty four million. Moldova, which is the least country which is the least visited country in Europe. Next we have Monaco. It borders France. It speaks France. And France had a year an empire. And it still wasn't even a part of France. Next we have Mongolia, which is which is landlocked by two major countries. And and a lot of people recognize Mongolia like like this. Montenegro declared war on Austria and Hungary in World War One. Nicola Morocco, which was the first African team to reach the semi-finals in a World Cup. Next we have Mozambique, which borders Madagascar in the Mozambique Channel. Next we have Myanmar, which used to be called Burma. Next we have Zambia, which which was a part of South Africa. Next we have Nauru, which is located in Oceania. Next we have Nepal, which has a non-rectangular flag, and if you want to go to what, if you want to know why, just look at my channel and find the video why does Nepal have a non-rectangular flag. Makes sense. Next we have the Netherlands, which is which has the tallest people. Next we have Papua New Guinea, which is actually bigger than New Zealand. Next we have Nicaragua. Which, is the, which has the most purple out of all, which in its flag, out of all of the Americas. Next we have Niger, and it has the most fertility. Next we have Nigeria, which is the most populated out of all of Africa. Yes, this surprised me too. North Korea has a hundred percent literacy. Next, we have, next, we have, next, we have North Macedonia, and it doesn't even, like, like, it's named North Macedonia, even though there's no, like, Macedonia or South Macedonia, there's no Greek state named Macedonia or North, South Macedonia. Next we have Norway, which which is only one country away from North Korea. See, and that one country is Russia. See, if you see this line, yeah, you know I should have done like this, like right here, and then reaching point right there. But yeah, next we have Oman, which has a GDP of capita of 21,960. Next we have Pakistan, which has an HDI of, of 0 0.544. This is um, low, but it's going higher. Next we have Palu, which has 500 island. Next we have Palestine, which is colonized by Great Britain. Next we have Panama, and it's one of its territories to be part of the United States. Next we have Papua New Guinea, which can speak the most languages. Next we have Paraguay, 
which have the largest navy of any landlocked country. Next we have Peru, 70% of alpacas live in Peru. Next we have Philippines, which is, and Filipinos loves basketball. Next we have Poland, which is, which is home to the first upside down house. Next we have Portuguese, which is spoken in Brazil and in Gold. Next we have Qatar, which is the first hosting nation to lose to, to lose in a, in a Next we have Romania, which used to have Moldova. Next we have Russia, which is the biggest country. Next we have Rwanda, and plastic bags are legal. Next we have St. Kitts and Nevis, which has which has the richest two islands. One of like these two islands are very rich. Next we have St. Lucia. It's also very good, very good. Next we have St. Griffin and Prince Rinsley and it has and it's one hundred and fifty point two square miles. Next we have Samoa, which is twenty four hours ahead to its closer neighbor. Closest neighbor. Next we have San, San Marino, which is founded in the year three hundred and one. Next we have Sao Tome and Prince of Bay, which has an HDI uh, or yeah, of 0 0.618, that's normal. Next up, Saudi Arabia, which is home to Mecca, where, to the Kaaba, where, where many Muslims go around it. Next we have Senegal, and soccer, football, is not the most popular sport there. It's not, even though they're in FIFA, they're very good team. Next we have, next we have Serbia, and the word vampire is Serbian. And next we have seashells, which and the seashell flag looks like the flag of Romania and Hungary, just taped together. Next we have Gabon, which looks like a perfect circle. See, compare this to this. Similar, right? Next we have Singapore, which is stronger than major countries like Greece. Malaysia and Kazakhstan and Mongolia. And if, this is the Slovakia flag during World War II. This Slovenia once used to be a part of Italy. In like I nice South Africa. Like I said, it never colonized Lesotho. Next we have South Korea and it used to look like this. Next we have South Sudan, which which is the youngest country. As you can see here, you could it says gain independence from Sudan in 2011. Next we have Spain, which one next we have Spain, which once used to have a part of Italy. Next we have Sri Lanka, which has a bigger population than Greece. Next we have Sudan. Sudan Sudan is the only African country to have this type of flag. You could find the Vietnamese flag and the Suriname flag. We could we could find and Sweden invented Minecraft. Next, Switzerland was neutral in both world wars. Next we have Syria, which is home to the oldest library. Next we have Tajikistan and it's a mountainous country. Next we have Tanzania, which is home to the biggest country the biggest mountain in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro. Thailand was the only Southeast country to be ne to never be colonized. Next we have Timor Leste, aka known as East Timor, which gained independence from Indonesia in 2002. Forgot to add that there. Next we have Togo, which was a German colony. Next we have Tonga, which is home to this black pool thing. Next we have Trinidad and Tobago, and which is the only country to have an island in South America. Island. Next we have Turkey, which is which is a part of NATO, but not in the EU. Next we have Turkmenistan, which has the most creative flag because of this quail right here. Next we have BG, which is the most, is the least 
visited countries. Next we have Uganda, which have the Belgian flag. Next we have these. This is what Ukrainian states look like. And Dubai is not the capital of UAE. Yeah. This is what Ukraine had the biggest empire in the world. Look at this. They even colonized full Canada and India. Yeah, there's some parts miss missing, like parts of Yemen, Oman, UAE, Qatar, Palestine, Pakistan, and Pakistan. And yeah, and Papua New Guinea. But yeah, it's very big, and yeah, is the biggest empire. Next we have UA USA, not UAE, USA, which has the most GDP and the strongest country. Next we have Uruguay, which hosted and won the first World Cup. Next we have Uzbekistan, which has the 56th largest country. Next we have Ven 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 Vanuatu, which is the most dangerous country. Next we have Venezuela, which is the poorest country in South America. Next we have Vietnam, which actually beat USA in war. Next we have Yemen, which was split up in South Yemen and Yemen. Next we have Zambia, which military rank is 89. Next we have the last country, Zimbabwe, which has the Germany flag. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe because it took me a long time to make this video. Goodbye.